Today I'll be talking about some of the best side hustles for 2018 or some of the what I think are the best side hustles for 2018. And just so you know, I'm going to be posting a shortened video of this on my Instagram TV channel, which is a brand new app. So if you have an Instagram, definitely check me out. Links in the description, but it's just simply Jake Jones Investing if you want to check that out. But other than that, getting right into the video, uh, the best side hustles for 2018. Uh, I think a lot of these are pretty online based to be completely honest, while some of them are sort of not online based and a little bit more real world real world based if you want to call it that. But um, most of these most of these in one way or another are somewhat relevant to being able to have not a presence online, but at least accessibility to online, um, but it's not necessarily needed. But anyways, the first and best way that I've actually done in the past, and I haven't actually done in a little bit of while because I just really haven't had too much time for it or need to do it, is um, really just buying and selling things off of Craigslist. And now I would definitely use Facebook Marketplace as well. Um, now the difference between Facebook Marketplace and Craigslist is one thing I like about Facebook Marketplace a lot better is it's basically the same exact platform um, does the same thing Craigslist does. You try and buy and sell things. Most people are just trying to sell things around their house or trying to buy things they need for their home, maybe like furniture or getting rid of some old um, technology around their house, like a TV, their phone, some speakers, just a whole bunch of random stuff. And what I would actually do during high school and a little bit during college to make a little bit of extra money. Um, back then, uh, Facebook Marketplace wasn't really a thing, so I only used Craigslist, but now I would definitely use Facebook Marketplace as well. Um, but back, what I would do is I would pretty much just only buy and sell Xboxes, Playstations, and video game related accessories, along with um, a lot of cell phones, because people seem to have a very, very high demand in those things. Um, it's just what I noticed personally, and I think it'd probably be still the same with the P PS4, Xbox One, um, the iPhone, I think they'd still be in pretty high demand. And when I was doing it, just coincidentally, was when the Xbox One and PS4 were just sort of coming out towards the end of it while I was doing it. Like I'd been doing it for a couple of years, then the Xbox One and PS4 came out, so they were selling for a lot more, so I was making a lot of money actually off of it. But um, what I would do that I think is a great tip for this is, um, this is just pretty much basic supply and demand to be completely honest. I would actually post a wanted ad on Craigslist and I would just say wanted Xboxes, Playstations and any video games accessories. And then I would say, we'll give you cash at hand day of if you're willing to meet. And I said, willing to travel, willing to come to you. So I made it very, very easy for the seller to really give me their stuff. And because I was doing that, I was actually getting a lot better deals if I was to just simply contact a seller who posted their ad on Craigslist. And I think that's just basic supply and demand because the people that were replying to my wanted ad were people that were typically wanting to get rid of the item right away and probably really needed that cash for whatever reason that I honestly didn't really care or ask about. It's, you know, their personal reasons, whatever. But um, a lot, a lot of those people were m way more likely to respond when I posted a wanted ad versus just responding to a seller and I was able to get much, much better deals. I mean, people were literally selling me brand new Xbox Ones that were selling for $400 for like 125 bucks simply because I would buy it the day of and no one else, they needed that money that day and no one else would just simply buy it. Um, I, I was making like ridiculously good deals off of that. And at first I did only contact the sellers, like I wouldn't post wanted ads. And once I started doing the wanted ads, I made much, much more money. And you could do this just as easily on Facebook and Craigslist. I think you should definitely use both platforms and then usually later that day or later that week, I'd resell it at a higher price. But to be honest as well, it would usually take a little bit longer and I wasn't really concerned about how quickly the money was coming in, but I never held anything for more than a couple of weeks or so. Uh, most of the time they would sell that day or later that week. And these people just simply weren't being patient enough or just needed the money and the cash that day, which I don't blame them. I get it like real stuff, real life stuff happens and you have to sell stuff right away. Um, and another thing you can do along with this, which is sort of the same exact thing is selling it on eBay because on eBay, you can sell it much, much quicker. Um, I can tell you that for fact, but if you're selling it on Facebook Marketplace or Craigslist, you're going to get more money because eBay charges you a fee. You might want to do shipping and um, you might not be able to get a great price if you do an auction on eBay. But moving into the next side hustle is selling things on eBay, which is very similar to this one. So you can even take what I said in the first part and bring it to this, but um, I actually did sell a lot of things on eBay. The one thing I didn't like about eBay, like I just said, they charge a really high fee. And um, I think in total for most things, it's like a 12% fee, at least when I used to use it. I'm not sure if that's actually changed. Um, let me know in the comment section if you've used eBay recently. I haven't in a little bit, but um, it used to be a 
pretty much a 12% fee. It used to be like 2% from PayPal, 10% from eBay, along with other fees if you wanted to have your item list higher and things like that. But eBay is super easy to use. It's really convenient. And your stuff definitely sells a lot, a lot quicker because it has a lot more views than, let's say, Facebook Marketplace, which might just be the people who live within like a 50 mile radius of you or something like that. Um, so selling things on eBay can definitely be a great side hustle in 2018. Another side hustle um, that I think works really well that I do also is YouTube, but not only YouTube, it could be any sort of medium where you're posting about things you like to do or things you're interested in or maybe things you're really good at. So for example, like my YouTube channel, I made it probably about a year ago. I'm now making a pretty decent amount of money off of it per month, like a little over probably $500 per month, give or take. And not that I'm doing it for the money or anything like that, but it is pretty nice to have a little bit of money coming in from each month, simply from just making videos every single day that I like making and like talking about. And just so you guys know, not like an expert in investing or anything like that, I would say I'm probably pretty smarter than the average person, but by no means am I an expert, but I do enjoy doing it. I do like talking about it. And um, I definitely could have went other ways with it. I definitely could have made a blog about it, or maybe um, I do have an Instagram account about it, but I could have went on other social media platforms. I just chose YouTube for a handful of reasons. Um, one, because I like making videos. I think they're it's kind of fun to do and it's, um, nice way to like clearly communicate what you're saying. I think sometimes when you try to write it down, for me at least, it's a little bit more difficult. I prefer doing like an outline on my phone, looking at that and then just spitting it out to the camera. Um, a couple other reasons why you might wanna do YouTube versus let's say an Instagram account is it could be for monetization, especially if you're looking at this as a side hustle aspect. Um, on Instagram and even now Instagram TV, you don't get paid anything for like getting likes or views or followers and same with like Twitter and a lot of other social media accounts. Um, the only way you could be making money is sometime in the future if you have a large enough following, which is a little bit difficult to get, but um, you can get sponsorship deals, brand deals, um, uh, you could maybe do some sort of affiliate marketing, you could um, literally like partner with another company perhaps. I mean, there's a lot of different ways you can make money off of that, but um, I think going the way of like YouTube or Twitch or platforms that actually monetize you are better side hustles just simply because you're doing this to make money, um, but you're also doing it probably because you enjoy doing it. Um, I wouldn't assume you would make a channel or something that you hate talking about that really wouldn't make a whole lot of sense. So those two are definitely the best two, I think, in 2018 right now. Um, there are some things that I don't actually think are side hustles that I just want to talk about very quickly that I think a lot of people try to do or try to get trapped in. Um, uh, one thing that I don't actually think is a very sustainable um, side hustle is doing a lot of day trading with penny stocks or like cryptos or Forex. Um, I know a lot of you guys who are watching my channel might actually do that, but I know a lot of people who went from um, someone else's channel to my channel came to my channel because they failed kind of hard at trading Forex, cryptos, uh, penny stocks, things like that. Um, they tried to do it. I hear a tons and tons of people on my channel. They watch my videos and they're like, thank God I finally found your channel. I've been watching these other guys. I've been trying to do day trading and I've just failed horribly and it hasn't worked out. And so they really emphasize that that's not really their best side hustle. They want to try something else. They want to try safer investing, which I is what I do. And I think it makes more sense personally. Um, another thing that I don't think is a side hustle that I see a lot of people doing is Amazon FBA. Um, I don't think Amazon FBA is like something horrible that you can't make money off of, but it's something that I've tried doing like wholesaling, you know, buying some cheap product from AliExpress and trying to sell it elsewhere. And it doesn't actually work out very well. And most of the times it's like usually illegal because you're like trying to brand something that it, what it's really not. And you're probably buying like very, very poor products and trying to sell them as something that's better. And it just doesn't work at all for those reasons that I just stated. Um, I, I see it all the time, guys. I know what it is. I've done it before. It does not work like you. And if it for it to maybe possibly work, you need to be spending a lot of money. Like you're not just going to be able to start doing it with like a couple hundred dollars or something like that. Like it will probably require thousands of dollars and i just don't think it's worth it it's very easy to fail it's very difficult to do the market's super super saturated and now that people are trying to sell courses on it and promote it on youtube and instagram and things like that the market's becoming even more saturated not that a saturated market you can't make money off of um i've just personally tried it in the past and amazon fba has not worked at all um, i think a lot of people make more money off selling courses about it than they actually do from selling the products themselves not trying to you know bash anyone individually but amazon on FPA 
it, it just doesn't work guys like you you do you honestly think you're going to be able to buy a product for a cent from china from aliexpress have it shipped over here quickly be able to post it on amazon and like sell hundreds and thousands of them and make like thousands of dollars a month do you, does that really really sound realistic to anyone because i know it doesn't to me and what really is going to happen is you're going to buy a bunch of crappy products from china they're going to take two months to come in you're going to spend maybe a few hundred dollars on them then they're just going to be sitting around your house for a few months and then eventually you're probably going to end up throwing them out along with your phone maybe because you're sick of watching people promote amazon fba but other than that guys really if this video those first two side hustles i talked about really great ones that i think work pretty well and that i have both i'm either doing right now or i have done in the past and the last couple of ones i just want to throw that in there because i know a lot of people are expecting those and they see those all the time on the internet i just don't think they work but really other than that guys it's it for this video um like always, if you haven't checked my channel before, I talk about investing in the stock market as well as personal finance, anything that has to do with money. So if you're interested in anything like that, definitely consider subscribing. And also, like I said before, I'll be posting probably a shortened video of this on my um, Instagram TV channel. So if you have an Instagram account and you want to check that out over there, which I'll be posting other content on as well, um, head over uh, the links in the description, just Jake Jones Investing, search me up on Instagram. But other than that, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video.